Over the past 50 years, we have witnessed significant development in the treatment and care available for people with inherited bleeding disorders. The evolution from fresh frozen plasma to crowd precipitate to plasma-derived and recombinant factor concentrates shows the great strides that have been made. The work being done with gene therapy will usher in a new era for our community. However, the reality is that globally 75% of bleeding people with bleeding disorders do not have adequate access to diagnosis, treatment and management for their conditions. My wish is that we will see a day where there will truly be treatment for all. We will continue to work together as a global community to close this gap. I think the next 50 is still very much that we have to find all the patients and that we still you know, are not nowhere near treating everybody, that there's still a lot of countries and even very wealthy and affluent countries that are still not treating haemophiliacs in the way they should be treated. So yes, the, the motto of treatment for all is still one we have to carry forward for a long time. The World Health Organization and the World Federation of Haemophilia have had a long and um, fruitful relationship since 1969. This was the year where the World Federation of Haemophilia was recognized by the World Health Organization. And uh, we are really pleased to commemorate uh, our partnership with the World Federation of Haemophilia uh, in this 50th anniversary, which is a historic milestone. It's very important. The mission of the World Federation help people who haven't access to the treatment. As some of countries rich, as some of countries have very perfect level of treatment, they have other kind of problems and important problems too. But the great missions of World Federation help people which have strategy every day, which have did every moment. But every day the staff of water duration, together with us, national member organization, must think about how we can help countries without anything. Please, WFH, continue to do your work. Think Think that the that you can reach the impossible. If I had a wish for the World Federation for the next 50 years on this 50th anniversary, it would be that we can actually relieve the pain and suffering for everybody in the world that has a bleeding disorder and that we will have found a cure. And I hope that it endures. I'm sure it will endure and I hope that it's able to be able to succeed in the goal of identifying people with haemophilia and providing the best possible care for as many uh, as possible in the world. I wish the, the world Federation of Haemophilia the best and I wish them another fruitful 50 years to go and uh, I trust they will be able to assist more hemophilia patients globally. My hope for the WFH is that they can really build capacity from reflecting on the last 50 years and then that can propel the WFH into the future and into further advancing the emission of treatment for all. The World Federation did a fantastic work. Very, very excellent work. They went to the poor countries, because now 80% of the patients in the world, they have no good treatment, and they work for them, and not for the patients that are well treated. Since the established, establishment of the WFH, uh, now it's the uh, 50 years anniversary of the WFH. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, WFH have imp uh, paid uh, more attention to improve the uh, worldwide hemophilia care, including the uh, worries and also uh, to uh, keep uh, good correlation with the uh, professionals, medical professionals. I hope uh, that WFH 
uh, in the next 50 years, they can be stronger and stronger. Uh, in my opinion, I hope the WFH can uh, uh, pay more attention to the hemophilia care in China to uh, help the Chinese professionals and also uh, the Chinese hemophilia patients too. And I hope finally the Chinese hemophilia patients can uh, live and uh, work normally as the uh, developed country counterparts. Thank you. My wish for the World Federation would be that they continue to find people, leaders of the quality that they've had in the past. And you know, I think of, I think of Mark, I think of Brian, Frank, Frank Schnabel before him, uh, many of the physicians who have led the organization. Uh, those are all extraordinary people, and if they continue to find people of that uh, stature who are willing to make the effort, then they'll do well. Well, I would hope that uh, that in the next 50 years, um, a measure of the WFH's success would be that there's no need for a WFH organization in its current format, um, that the patients with hemophilia and bleeding disorders have been identified, that there really is treatment for all, and that the job is done and um, can move on to something else. So I would hope that that would be where we would be in 50 years from now. My anniversary wish for the World Federation is that they continue to use money very carefully, that they continue to use volunteers, and that they continue to uh, be so successful in uh, initiating and maintaining hemophilia care uh, everywhere. Je lance un vrai remerciement à la Fédération mondiale de l'hémophilie parce que je crois que la Fédération mondiale fait un très très grand travail pour l'hémophilie et pour les patients dans le monde. Et je crois que il est il est il est il est il est nécessaire que toutes les associations que tous les hémophiles du monde remercient grandement tous les efforts qui sont établis par rapport à la Fédération mondiale. Et que euh, notre rôle, euh, c'est peut-être de les épauler et de les aider afin qu'ils qu puissent réussir tous les projets qu'ils ont, qu ont entrepris euh, pour les hémophiles dans le monde. En tout cas, je, nous les remercions grandement et, et, et nous les félicitons beaucoup pour tout ce qu'ils ont apporté dans ce monde-là. Well, I think that the, 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 the idea of, uh, of making treatment available for all is certainly, uh, is certainly a, a very great idea. It's a, it's a mission, uh, it's a, the, the main mission uh, for, for the World Federation. And um, uh, certainly, uh, I think it is, it, it is very important to um, foster the scientific activities uh, within the frame of the twins because the uh, scientific uh, uh, scientific uh, um, um, activities uh, allow the uh, allow the uh, partners in the developing world to become more visible within their society to become more important and this certainly uh, helps a lot it's uh, it's a it's a, a side product, but it's a very important um, uh, objective. I hope that the next fifty years there is equal excitement and development of care way beyond the borders of where people presently can access product and other treatments. And that's my hope for WFH. My wish for the fiftieth anniversary. Our golden anniversary uh, is for people to truly understand the value and the worth of the work that we do. Uh, through the World Federation, we've made dramatic differences, uh, and I wish that everyone around the world will partner with us uh, to achieve our vision of treatment for all. Eh, mi deseo para el 50 aniversario de la Federación Mundial de Hemofilia sería que eh, tuviesen todos los recursos necesarios para que todos los eh, pacientes con alteraciones en la coagulación pudiesen tener acceso a un tratamiento eh, adecuado 
y para que fuesen realmente el nexo entre los diferentes uh, grupos implicados en que nuevas terapias sean puedan alcanzar a los pacientes, eh, pues entre investigadores, eh, eh, compañías haciendo eh, ensayos clínicos, eh, quizá los reguladores que en algún momento tenemos que aprobar estas terapias. Eh, yo creo que están en el camino adecuado y ojalá que tuvieran los recursos necesarios para hacer realidad ese objetivo que tienen de tratamiento para todos. I mean, the, the, the 50th anniversary will be a major milestone for WFH. Uh, the the uh, life expectancy of a person with haemophilia 50 years ago was very low. Um, when I was born, life expectancy was quite low. In my family, I had three brothers with haemophilia. Two died in childhood from bleeding. Um, so the, the kind of reality that was the reality when I was growing up as a child is still the reality in many countries in the world for families for children with haemophilia. I'd like to see that change. The way that's going to change is by getting governments to commit to sustain sustainable haemophilia programs on a national basis. It's going to change by getting the haematologists and the patient organizations working together and the way to affect that change is through WFH. So yes, the, the last 50 years need to be celebrated but only as a precursor to the next 50. La Fédération mondiale de l'hémophilie qui va, d'après ce que j'ai compris, puisque c'est euh, l'objet de ce film, fêter bientôt euh, ses 50 ans, euh, ses 50 ans d'existence, à mon avis, euh, fait bien son travail parce qu'on voit euh, qu'elle avance, euh, qu avance dans le monde. De, de plus en plus d'hémophiles sont pris en charge. Or, il ne faut pas oublier que c'est une maladie qui est très très rare et en plus qui est extrêmement coûteuse. Il faut beaucoup de persévérance et vraiment c'est ce qui caractérise la Fédération mondiale. My hope for the World Federation as it approaches its 50th uh, anniversary is that we will see treatment for all uh, wherever they live in the world uh, and whatever the socio-economic climate of that country may be. I, I would hope that in my lifetime we will see treatment for all. When I think back over the years that the World Federation of Haemophilia has been in existence, it started out as a relatively small organisation. But it started off with a vision of one man refusing to accept that nothing could be done. And when I look at it today, at the international global organisation that it is, and the encouragement that it brings to people in more than 100 countries around the world, I'm astonished at what it can achieve. But there's no room for complacency because to make these achievements depends on not only the enormous number of volunteers who participate, but also on continued funding for the programs that it runs. So my vision for the future would be that we are able to continue to do this, that we continue to have the resources, and that we might be able to expand the way in which we obtain resources. But I think it will succeed because of the enthusiasm and commitment of the volunteers from every walk of life all over the world. In terms of the 50th anniversary for the World Federation of Haemophilia, I've been fortunate enough to work with the World Federation for the last 30 years and seen an exponential growth in the effectiveness uh, and impact of the World Federation on developing countries. If they can achieve that kind of exponential growth, I know that in the next 50 years, they will essentially conquer the problems with hemophilia by that time. And that's what I wish for, for the World Federation of Hemophilia. I had the privilege to work with the World Federation of Hemophilia for more than uh, 10 to 12 years. I have an exposure to several uh, multinational organizations, NGOs or, uh, uh, or uh, official organizations, and I can uh, uh, happily say that the World Federation of Hemophilia is one of the most efficient organizations that I had uh, Co cooperation with. For this reason, I want to congratulate uh, the World Federation of Hemophilia uh, in its 50th anniversary for the uh, achievements that they have uh, reached to during the past 50 years. Uh, I would like to ask them to, to sustain what they have achieved 
and try to improve, although I can claim that it's very close to perfection. I think as the World Federation approaches its 50th anniversary, I really hope that they're able to get enough resources to achieve the aims that uh, we have set for ourselves, and that is treatment for all. And so I hope we're able to raise more funds to go to more countries, uh, especially in those parts of the world that have received less attention so far, as in Africa, some parts of Asia, and uh, that we're able to set up programs uh, that involve the government and lead to sustained care in these parts of the world. I hope that we are able to get involved with more supporting more research that will lead to more doable protocols in different parts of the world so that all people with hemophilia are able to live a uh, life with uh, less uh, pain and, and less deformities. My hope for the World Federation of Hemophilia and the Global Bleeding Disorders Community is that in the near future we will be able to close the gap in care around the world. It's imperative that 75% of people who do not have access to adequate care and treatment will be able to live longer and fuller lives. It's indeed achievable, and it's through working together that we will be able to achieve treatment for all.